Hey, I'm here with Dina Wakely, and if you've ever seen one of Dina's amazing art journals, you're gonna be just blown away. And you're gonna talk to us today about complementary colors, right? I am. Cool, so what's the deal? Well, complementary colors aren't colors that give you a compliment and say you look fabulous Too today, bad. even though you do. Complementary colors are opposites. They're opposite on the color wheel, and so they give you lots of impact and power when you use them together on a page. Well, I was gonna even say, you're wearing kind of complimentary-ish colors right now. It gives you a lot of impact. I, I like them, they're my favorites to use on journal pages, but they make mud when they mix. So my key is, I don't mix them a ton. You, so you keep them separate, and I know you have a background here. So this background's done in cool colors. So cools are your blues and your greens, and so here's a tip. Stick to similar colors when you make a background, and you won't make mud, but it's a little boring. Right? I mean, it's gorgeous, it's pretty, but there's no visual impact in WOW. So when I do a background that is cools, I make something opposite in warms that's gonna give me that punch of color that I really want. So what I'll do is I'll just take a piece of plain paper and I paint it with the opposites. So if you look at the, how they look together, look at that visual impact and power, right? So they're opposites. Here's my warms, my pinks and my reds and my yellows, and then here are my cools. So if I put them on the same wet layer, They'll mix and make brown. They'll mix and make icky brown. Ugly, ugly, icky brown. And so I will have these in my studio and I'll do a ton of them. Different color stories, different color ways. And then when it's dry, I cut myself little shapes. So little freehand scallops and all of that good stuff for my mise en place for and my page. I was gonna say, and that way when you put it together on the page, it doesn't mix together, but there's more mise en place that you're adding in, right? Right. You've got these cute stamps. I've got my stamps, so I'm gonna use these stamps. So even if you can't draw, guess what? I have you covered, because stamping, um, saves you. I, I can draw a little bit. Well, I love and the I still sketchy stamp. look of these stamps so that it looks like something that you've drawn instead of actually being drawn. Yeah, I like that hand drawn look without all the hand drawn work. So I ink it with black archival ink that will stay permanent when it's dry. I can paint right over it. I give it a good little press there. And here's the other thing if I stamp imperfectly, that one's blurry. I say my three favorite words. Oops, oh well. Well also if you drew it, it might be a blurry line, so who cares? Exactly, and by the time you cut it out, no big, no big deal, exactly. right? So I want these images to pop on my background, and so I need them to be the warm colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my little palette ready of my I warms. See, of course, you've put out some warm colors. You have some red and some yellow. And then this is night, so that's my dark neutral. It's a, it's a navy. I'm gonna spray right on the craft sheet here, and I'm gonna Circle, circle, circle in the water and pick up a little bit of that paint and then lo watch how carefully I paint. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You weren't even looking at so, it. So, so loosey goosey. And you've also turned what is essentially a you know heavy acrylic paint into a watercolor look, which I think is cooler than cool. This paint's so versatile. You can use it thick in impasto and be Van Gogh and then thin. So I do a little bit of one color add the next color right into the wet on wet. So that way it's gonna do the blending work for you. You don't have to blend it. The water blends it for you if it's wet enough. And then the, the crowning glory is a little bit of splatter. Now, if you wait for it to dry, you'll get perfect splatter. Do I ever wait for anything to dry? You know me. No, I never wait. So what I do is right into the wet, Boom, that's I, splatter. I splatter it, and so it's gonna blend and bleed. It looks beautiful, and if you look at the finished page that you have there, I can see the cool, the warm, the birds with the splatter. It's all fantastic, super easy, and you kept us from getting brown. Thank you so much, Dina.